A drone attack has been launched on the territory of Russian Republic of Tatarstan, Russian Defense Ministry reported. According to the report, the air defense system has been activated and drones shot down in the city of Yelabuki over the factory where Shahid drones are manufactured. The workers of the plant have been evacuated from the area. No casualties are reported. The work of the local airport has been temporarily suspended. Note that this is the second drone attack on the Republic of Tatarstan. There were drone attacks on the cities of Yelabuga and Niznakams on April 2. As a result, an explosion and fire occurred at the Elazneftu product in Yelabuki and Taniko oil refineries in Nejnakams. At the same time, an attack was launched on the Alabuji Polytech factory engaged in the production of drones in the dormitory located in the Alabuji Special Economic Zone. Лахту даже поехали, людей разбирать, смотри. Неужели опять что-то будет сука? Ukrainian general named the reason why Ukraine does not declare war on Russia. Ukraine will not declare war on Russia because it is not profitable for it. As ex-deputy chief of the general staff of the armed forces of Ukraine, Igor Romanenko explained, Kyiv is afraid of losing Western help. Answering a question about a possible declaration of war on Russia, the Ukrainian retired general explained that Ukraine would not do this under any circumstances, since it would immediately lose help from the West, which is actively avoiding a direct clash with Russia. And transferring military aid to Ukraine, which has declared war, means taking its side. Therefore, Romanenko urged not to grasp at definitions. We have a large-scale war. Legally, this is enough for us. If we went to a state of war, then assistance for weapons and equipment would cease not only from the United States, but also from most of the Allies. They have this written in the law, said the general, adding that even in the current situation, there are closed points in assistance from the United States. Today, Ukraine receives virtually no military assistance from the Americans who have switched to Israel. The right to support the Kyiv has been transferred to Europe, but it cannot do it alone. And the internal problems of the European Union do not make it possible to compensate for most of the US assistance. If war is declared, Kyiv will lose even the little assistance it receives. Recall US Senate Majority Leader Democrat Chuck Schumer said that a consensus was reached that Congress could act quickly to send aid to both Israel and Ukraine. As reported by ABC News, Schumer expressed hope at a press conference in New York that something could be done this week to help both countries. He noted that the best way to send aid to Israel and Ukraine is for the House of Representatives to pass the Senate-approved National Security Supplemental Act, which includes aid to both countries. The Senate passed the 95 billion US dollar package in February, but House Speaker Mike Johnson did not bring it to a vote. U.S. will not shoot down drones in Ukraine as it did in Israel. The United States will not intervene in Russia's war in Ukraine and will not shoot down aerial targets as it did in Israel. White House National Security Council Strategic Communications Coordinator John Kirby said this. Asked whether the U.S. is prepared to shoot down Iranian kamikaze drones as it did in Israel during the Iranian attack, he said he knew the question would come up. Look, different conflicts, different airspace, different threat patterns. Kirby said. He also stressed that from the very beginning of the conflict, President Joe Biden made it clear that the U.S. had no plans to take part in hostilities in Ukraine. Kirby said that the U.S. provides Ukraine with the weapons it needs to protect its airspace. Unfortunately, we can't do that right now because we don't have the national security supplemental funding that Ukrainians so desperately need. He also said that the best solution would be to put the aid in the hands of the Israel Defense Forces and the Ukrainian military and pass the bill that the Senate has adopted. 
The United States has destroyed dozens of drones and at least six ballistic missiles aimed at Israel from Iran and Yemen. Its military has said U.S. forces hit more than 80 one-way attack drones, including seven UAVs targeted on the ground prior to launch, U.S. Central Command said. Iran's continued unprecedented, malign and reckless behavior endangers regional stability and the safety of U.S. and coalition forces, Central Command said. Central Command remains postured to support Israel's defense against these dangerous actions by Iran. We will continue to work with all our regional partners to increase regional security. Central Command made the announcement after Iran, late on Saturday, launched its first ever attack on Israeli territory in retaliation for a suspected Israeli attack on its embassy in Syria. The attack, involving more than 300 drones and missiles, caused only modest damage as most were shot down by Israel's Iron Dome missile defense system or the US and its partners.